Hello and welcome to the Siebel 22 installation A2 set module. Uh, this is a module of the Siebel 22 workshop. And in this module you are going to see a demonstration of installing a new Siebel database. Now here's the thing, uh, the installation of a new Siebel database is not really specific to the Siebel version, so the video you are going to see has been recorded using Siebel 20, but it definitely applies in all of its steps to what you will do in Siebel 22 to install a new Siebel database. So with this I hope you enjoy the demonstration. So in this uh, quick demo uh, we're gonna see how to prepare our fresh Oracle database for the Siebel database installer. So logging in as a sysdba here uh, in order to uh, create the table spaces for Siebel. So we've got two table spaces, one for data files, one for index. And those are created already. So let's just briefly check on them. Uh, so yes, we got uh, two Siebel data, two Siebel table spaces here. Uh, next step is to run the grant user SQL. So if you have on the machine where you have installed the Siebel server and the database server utilities, you can go to uh, the DB server slash Oracle slash grant user dot SQL file executed right from SQL plus and it will prompt you for the table owner name and all the passwords and table space names uh, default table space names for, uh, and all the passwords for the users that it will generate. It will generate as admin Siebel as table owner and the anonymous users as well as the LDAP user. So once we provided all these passwords. Uh, we hit enter and grant user SQL is run. So we can now uh, proceed with the database installer and the Siebel upgrade wizard. In this demonstration, we will see how to use uh, the database configuration wizard, uh, starting here from the start menu. And we are installing an Oracle database. So here, the um, install database options, keeping defaults. Yes, uh, we want a new database. Yes, we have run a uh, grant user. And now we are providing the SQL connect string. It's a Unicode database. English was going to be our base language. Uh, the database username is sapmin. Enter the password you provided in the grant user script. Database table owner is Siebel. Again, password will be validated here. And we're going to provide the names of the index table space and the data table space is we just generated. So keeping the defaults here and we can run the upgrade wizard. So uh, the upgrade wizard launches from the configuration wizard if we wish. And let's uh, prepare a bit for watching it. Uh, this is going to take a bit longer and we're speeding up. Uh, we're running at high speed then uh, to speed up this video. Uh, so first it's going to install the Siebel schema tables and indexes. Uh, it will uh, import the Siebel C data for 20.3 since this is run on the 20.3 update. Uh, it will import the repository again of, of the update you applied that is 20.3 and enable workspaces. So at the end of this process, we have a valid Siebel 20.3 uh, server database. So yeah, this is running smoothly here. We already reached a point where it imports the repository. Again, this is 
uh, fast forward mode. It will run a little bit slower on your systems. And it's enabling workspaces. And it's done. So, yeah, now we can close the wizard and we have a uh, ready to use Siebel 20.3 server database. In this demonstration, uh, we're going to see how to use the license key manager of Siebel. So, our Siebel server is installed. We go to the bin folder and we locate the license key module dot bat file run this file on windows and we get to the uh, login page so to speak so first we need to provide the siebel server folder and then the odbc dsn so if you don't know the name uh, look it up in the odbc 32-bit uh, system dsn uh, that's the dsn created by the database configuration wizard for the database installation. And we can use that to connect to the Oracle database, um, specify the table owner, sysadmin user, sysadmin password, database platform will be Oracle. Uh, and let's point to uh, the log folder, Siebel server. Any folder will do, but let's just keep the logs in one place. And we can log in. So now database connection is established. And we see the license keys, uh, which are currently, as this is a fresh database install, are uh, all currently inactive. So uh, please consult with your Oracle team and uh, your internal teams which license keys you can activate. Uh, you probably need Siebel tools and others. So we're just not setting any any other keys here, but uh, discuss with your team which keys to activate, then click apply, and information is written to the database, and now we have license keys activated. In this demonstration, uh, we will see how to install language packs into a fresh Siebel database. So we have run the database installer, which laid down the schema, etc. And now it's time to run the language packs installers on top of the base language, which we chose to be English. So we're starting the database server configuration wizard again. Uh, for Oracle, this time we choose the add a language option for the installation. Grant user has of course been run. And uh, the rest is quite familiar. So we have the uh, Oracle Connect string, the base language is English, and the language we're going to install is uh, German. Of course, we have run all the installers with the correct language packs in place. So the upgrade wizard will find the files. So um, specify the database user, the table owner, as is customary with this wizard. And the repository is also provided by default. And we keep all the defaults here literally and continue to run the upgrade wizard. So the upgrade wizard will import the language specific seed data, enable MLOF if necessary, uh, and also enable the workspace for the seed data. So uh, this process that you see here is. Uh, sped up so it's very fast and in reality it of course takes a while to run all these steps but not too it's not too long and uh, okay so that's finished and uh, the second part of a language pack installation is actually to install the symbolic strings into the repository so one more time we launch the database configuration wizard and go through the parameter input. Uh, this time we choose import export repository. 
and choose add language. So the base repository for English is already installed with the symbolic strings. So we're going to add the German symbolic strings literally here. Uh, this time we have to provide the ODBC data source. So in case you can't remember the name, go to your ODBC 32-bit and use the one that's there. It has been created by the same wizard before. And we go through the same steps as before, providing uh, the Satmin and table owner, Siebel user, and passwords. And keep the defaults here. Uh, notice that it has located the file. It's part of the language pack. And we can run with the option to run the upgrade wizard immediately. And as we can see, it will just launch into an import of the language specific repository data. So all the internationalization records, uh, most prominently the symbolic strings, will now be imported into the repository. So again, this uh, takes a while, so we're speeding up here. And the process is complete. So now we have uh, the Siebel database uh, with the language-specific data imported. In this demonstration, uh, we're going to see how to run the full publish command on the command line. So Siebel Tools is installed, patched up to 20.3. Uh, the command literally is the same as you would launch tools from command line, but followed by the languages, ENU and German, and slash full publish. Uh, this will launch tools in full publish mode. And it runs four times the total. So one, the initial one, then for all the languages and for each individual, individual language. So uh, it runs quite a while. Once it's completed, it might be a good idea to um, run uh, the stats on the database, which we do here. And once the stats are completed, uh, we should have a fresh uh, database accessible by the server.